In this video, I'm going to walk you through the industry and commerce standard design in 5 minutes. Let's get started. There are 8 steps in the standard design. Enter basic project information, including the project name and address. After entering this information, you will gain access to meteorological data from over 15,000 weather stations. The supported weather stations and power grid parameters in the area will be automatically displayed. Your input location will appear in the map area on the right. Step 2. Enter the information about the electricity price and consumption. Here, click Settings and select the currency unit of the country. Then, enter the local electricity price. The maximum demand mode supports the yearly, monthly, and time-of-use demand fee modes. The electricity purchase price supports two input modes, fixed electricity price and time-of-use price. Here, we demonstrate the settings of time-of-use demand and time-of-use price. Add time segments based on the actual situation, set the electricity price for different time segments, and click the color blocks in front of different time segments. Color the corresponding time segment in the time bar below to indicate binding. The electricity price growth rate supports two modes, fixed growth rate and custom growth rate. The consumption can be generated by model or data import. To import data, download the CSV template, fill in the hour level power consumption data, and upload the data. The annual energy consumption needs to be entered for model generation. The monthly energy consumption is calculated based on the model and can be adjusted. The daily energy consumption is divided into workdays and weekends. Multiple templates are preset and can be customized. The fixed growth rate and custom growth rate are also set for the consumption. After the configuration is complete, go to the next step. The building drawing selected in Step 1 is displayed in the center of the three-dimensional modeling page. Multiple drawing tool buttons are displayed on the left of the page. You can click a building to manually draw the building outline. Click the obstacle button to draw the cube and dormer. In addition to the conventional roof, it also provides four conventional shapes of the shed modeling function, which can be selected according to the situation. The zoom and switch buttons are provided in the lower right corner. Click the two-dimensional three-dimensional switch button to adjust to the three-dimensional mode. You can see the three-dimensional model of the current building. Select the roof surface to display its basic information. Select the parapet wall to modify its thickness and height. Obstacles can be adjusted to dormer windows or cubes with heights. After modeling is complete, click next to arrange PV modules. Tap to select a rooftop, select the PV module manufacturer and model, and tap Auto Layout to complete the PV module layout design for the current area. Tap the Radiation Pattern button in the lower left corner to view the irradiance analysis. The brightness of PV modules in the affected area will decrease. You can manually adjust the component, click the component and press Delete to delete the component. Step 5. Perform Electrical Design. The target oversizing ratio is 120% by default. Select the optimizer and click Auto Design. Based on the number of PV modules and oversizing ratio, the system automatically matches the inverter with the optimizer and connects the device to the PV module. The system has the latest product specifications and design rules. This ensures 100% accuracy of the design. Step 6. Perform Energy Storage System Design. Click Enable Energy Storage System and set the PV mode. Currently, the system supports multiple operating modes, such as Maximum Self-Consumption, TOU, Peak Shaving, and their overlapping control. Click Automatic Design. Set the planning target and enter the installation cost and O&M cost of the solar energy storage system. Select whether to support energy storage replacement, and enter the energy storage replacement cost. Then the system automatically runs the simulation algorithm to compare the benefits of different energy storage capacities and generate the optimal capacity of the solar energy storage system. You can also manually adjust the cost. After the design is complete, enter the economic analysis page, confirm that the cost settings are correct, and click next to generate a report. Standard design reports can be customized and exported in PDF format. The report contains basic information. Here, we can see the PV array in the three-dimensional model. Click Edit to adjust the viewing angle. Right-click the model and drag it to a proper area. 
You can also view the list of purchased devices, energy storage system configuration policy, and electricity bills analysis information. You can view the NPV and payback period data in economic benefits. The report is comprehensive and displays information such as energy management and power curve. Industry and Commerce Standard Design Project presentation is over, thank you.